What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion about Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So this is now lesson 3, where in this time, we are going to add air terminals. Okay, so we're going to learn how to place air terminals. So from the previous videos, we have learned how to place mechanical equipment, uh, plumbing fixture so this time let's add an air terminal and we're going to learn how to recognize hosted and non-hosted air terminals and we're going to place air terminals at the correct location and then i'll be showing you how to adjust the room calculation points okay so let's uh, do this so we're going to place our air terminals to our ceiling. That's why here on our project browser, you will notice aside from the floor plan, we also have ceiling plans. Okay, so I'm going to open the mechanical ground floor RCP or reflected ceiling plan. So this is where I'm going to place my air terminal. Okay, so let's say for example, I will just concentrate in this area. So this uh, cross or icon that you are seeing here this is actually a space so this is uh, one of the setup that you need to apply or you need to do when setting up your mechanical uh, project so you need to place spaces okay so if you click the space and then check the properties so you can see here it contains some uh, Properties here like properties for electrical lighting, for electrical loads, and then you also have here mechanical flow. And I want you to take note of our actual supply airflow. So later on, as we put our air terminal inside this room, our space will pick up the property on the air terminal and it will show you here the actual supply, uh, supply airflow that is coming from the air terminal. Okay, so that's why spaces is really important when setting up your mechanical project. So you need to place first the spaces. Okay, so here in this area, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an air terminal. So where is that? So air terminal can be found on the systems tab. And then you can see here the HVAC. And then you can see here air terminal. So if you click the air terminal, you can see here the families that is already loaded in this uh, project. Okay. So the first family that we are going to use here is this one. So Supp uh, supply diffuser square hosted. So you already have here a clue if this family is a hosted family or a non-hosted family. So let's say I'll be using here 12 inches by 12 inches. So this is a hosted family. So if you select this one, you will notice these options. So you have place on vertical uh, face, place on face, and place on work plane. Okay, so you have that modify place air terminal contextual tab, and then you have these options. So if you are seeing these options, so that means that that particular family, specifically our air terminal, is a hosted family. Okay? So for this one, I'll be using uh, place on face. And then I'm going to place it on my uh, area here, on my ceiling. Later on, I can just align this. So I'm going to pick here. Let's say I'll pick one there and then I'll pick another one here. Okay? And then I'll be selecting here, modify. There you go. Okay, of course, you can still align that to your ceiling. So you can go to the modify. You can use the align tool. So let's say I want to align this side to this side here. So I'm going to select this side here and then that one. There you go. And then I'm going to select, I'm going to escape once and then let us select this line here. So if ever you are having a difficulty selecting this line, as you can see, it's not highlighting. What you can do is you can press the space bar once. Oh, hang on. So the reason why I'm having that one is because multiple alignment here is checked. So I'm going to uncheck that. So I'm going to now select this line here. So click that and then you can now click this one. 
All right. Okay, so let me align this one too. So I select that and then select this one and then click here and then align that one. Okay, and then modify here. So I'm going to select these two air terminals. So hold control and then I want to see that in 3D view. So that's why I'm going to uh, select selection box and there you go. So there's our air terminal that is hosted to our ceiling okay okay so after seeing our uh, two air, air terminals to the 3d view the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to select again the air terminal tool so i'm gonna select that one and then this time i'm going to change the type here so instead of using a hosted family so i'm gonna use here a non-hosted family which is this one so as you can see the name here is only supply diffuser and then if i click this one notice that the 12 inches by 12 inches by default is still selected that's why we have these three options here but if i select this one you will notice it will disappear why because this time, this family that we are going to insert is a non-hosted family. That's why you can't see it here currently. Because by default, the height of that is zero. So it will start from uh, ground floor level. And then you need to specify the height. Okay, so for the height, so I'm going to change this one to 9 feet. So 9, enter. So once you do that, you will now be able to see that in your ceiling plan right and then let me now place it for example here and then i'll be using the align tool let me align that side here and then this side here there okay and then i'll select here modify so now i'm going to select the air terminal and we are going to modify it this one and then there's an option here wherein you can hide the arrows of that air terminal there you go and then escape okay now if i'm going to select again the space here which is uh, this one okay so pay attention now to the actual supply air flow here there you go so we now have here 850 cfm so this information is coming from the air terminal that i have here okay there you go so if you notice if i click this one so there's the flow here so there's a flow rate of 175 cfm so i have two of that so that is uh 350 175 plus 175 is 350 and then this big one is 500 so that is 850 so if we select the space here so it's now computed as the actual supply air flow okay so this parameter the actual uh, supply air flow will sum the flows of the air terminals placed in the space now there are some instances wherein the space is not accounting for the air terminals flow so it's not detecting the air terminal flow that is coming from the air terminal okay even though the air terminal is placed uh, correctly so what you do is you need to edit the family so you need to edit this up uh, this uh, parameter that is called room calculation point so you need to adjust that so you need to edit the family so to edit the family so let's say this one is not the airflow of this one is not being read by the space here although it's correct it's being read by the by the space but if ever let's say for example the flow rate of this air terminal is not being read by the space so you need to edit the family so you click the family and then edit it okay and then after that you just look for the room calculation point so you click that turn on and then you will now see the room calculation point so you can click that one and then you see the blue here you can drag that all the way down so that it will be inside within the space and then after that you just need to load into project 
and then override the existing version and its parameter values. So what will happen, the space will now be able to read the flow rate of your uh, air terminal. Okay, so let us insert another air terminal here. So this time we are going to use the insert tab and then we're going to use load Autodesk family because I do not have any air terminal saved inside my Revit 2024 in my machine. That's why I always use the cloud here, load Autodesk family. So you can click that one and then after that uh, here you can type the one that you're looking for so i already searched before so you just need to type sidewall uh, uh, supply diffuser so that's the one so i am going to click that and then after that i'm going to select here load so just click that one okay and then you will notice here since the family has an associated type catalog so you can specify here what are the types that you would like to load so let's say uh, I want to load um, this one, uh, this one, and then I'm going to hold control, for example, these families, and then I'll just need to select here, okay. There you go, it's now loaded, so let's go back to the systems tab, air terminal, and then there you go, so it's now loaded here. So these are the families. So let's say I'm going to select 150 by 550. So I can click that one. Again, this type of family is a non-hosted family. So I need to specify here the offset. So let's say 8 feet. So I'm going to type 8. Enter. And then I'm going to place it. Let's say I'm going to place it to this side here. Again, you can press space bar if you want to rotate like that. So let's say here like that and then modify okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to rotate this because in 3d view this is how it looks like so I'm going to select the air terminal and then I'll be selecting selection box or a bit so that's how it looks like right so I do not want my air my side uh, diffuser to look like that so that's why going back to my RCP I'm going to use section here so I'm going to create a section here looking to that side like that right click go to view there you go so I'm gonna select that one and then use the rotate tool 90 degrees all right, and then let's go back to 3D, how it looks like. There you go. Okay, so th that's now my side wall diffuser. Okay. So our other families are there. Oops. There you go. So basically, that's how you insert or add an air terminal to your project. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.